if you were to take your car somewhere your car is perfectly fine all you really needed was an oil change and that was it and you come back with all these different lights on what would you have done um excuse me sir uh something's going on with this it says check engine light that shouldn't be there y'all ready for a story time because i got time today <laughs> vlog today is monday october 2nd and i am on my way home from dropping ari off at school i don't know if y'all can tell probably can but i am not in my car this is not my car i'm in a loner car i don't think that really like makes a difference can y'all tell probably not it's the same type of car i have but just um it's a black one anywho actually no it's not the same type of car i had because this car doesn't fit three car seats and it's a whole it's a whole situation y'all so on saturday saturday morning i dropped my car off to get its service done it was due for an oil change and all that extra stuff whatever okay cool cool so i did that at 8 30 in the morning the guy was like oh it's gonna take like five hours or whatever here he gave me a loaner car when he gave me this loaner car the first thing i asked him does this car fit three car seats he says yeah it does it's just the same size as your car the only difference is this car doesn't have a third row and like in my mind i'm not thinking because like i don't use the third row in my car now like we don't use it the car fits three car seats like straight across so i was like oh okay as long as it fits three car seats that's cool or whatever but then again it was like the car will be done in five hours so like I didn't really need to put the car seats in the car because I wasn't going nowhere with the kids at that time. So um, I got the loaner car. I went home, was dealing with the kids, doing family stuff or whatever. They called me, the car was done at one o'clock. So I drove back, before I drove back to the dealership, I went and I got gas in the loaner car. Me not thinking, I didn't fill that loaner car all the way up. Why did I do that? I don't know. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I was thinking I was in my car. Cause when I get gas, I normally fill it up. So I, first, first mistake, filling that car all the way up, wasting money. <laughs> so I filled that car all the way up, went and dropped it off or whatever. Went inside to talk to the guy about my car. He's like, oh, your car is good. Everything's good. Your car is basically brand new. Everything checked out, blah, 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 do, 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 da, da, da. Cool. So he walks me to my car, right? He was being like real extra. I don't know. I don't know because I'm a female or what it was or he was just trying to be nice. I don't know. Being real extra, walk me to the car, just being really super nice or whatever. And the last thing he said to me before like he walked away was, oh, I hope I um gave you great service. You're going to receive an email, do, 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 blah, blah, blah. Please, um, five stars, whatever, whatever. I'm like, cool. He walks away and I'll go to start my car. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to park this car. Why would I go to start the car, right? the check engine light comes on i'm like ah oh, check engine light when i came here my check engine light wasn't on so why am i leaving with the check engine light on that doesn't make sense so i was like um excuse me sir uh something's going on with this it says check engine light that shouldn't be there he's like oh wait let me go um call the guy back or call the whoever service guy to come in and see what's going on or whatever hook it up to the computer and see what's going on he was like, oh, it's probably like a faulty, you know, probably takes time to reset. Here, let me reset it and just drive for a little bit. If it comes back on, give us a call Monday. Okay, me not thinking, okay, that sounds about right, whatever, who cares? So I do that, I leave, I go to Hobby Lobby, I go to Target, and I go to another store like that's in the same area. So I do that, I go to Hobby Lobby, spent like an hour in there, because Hobby Lobby, y'all didn't tell me Hobby Lobby was a place to go. Like I've seen a lot of nice stuff in there, but anywho, let me not get sidetracked. <laughs> I go to the Hobby Lobby, spend like an hour in there, then I go to Target. When I leave the Hobby Lobby, the check engine light wasn't on, it was gone. So like, I didn't think nothing of it. It was gone, everything's good. I go to the Target, spend probably like another hour in there, in the Target, doing what I do in Target. I already know about me and Target. <laughs> Once I leave the Target, I go to start my car and the check engine light pops back on. Y'all, when I tell you, I drove right back to that Audi dealership real quick, like, mm -mm, y'all playing with me now, now y'all playing. So when I go in there, why is like everybody gone? I think it was like 4.30. Uh -oh. Hold on, y'all. It was like 4.30. Everybody was gone. 
it was like two people in there and i was like the guy i guess the guy saw me from earlier he's like oh you're back i was like yeah the check engine light is still on in my car i don't feel comfortable driving with a check engine light on mainly because when i brung my car here it wasn't on it only came on from me being here at the audi dealership so y'all must have did something y'all gotta fix it like i'm not driving around with a check engine light on i'm sorry that's just not me so um he was like oh well everybody's gone for the day you're gonna have to call back monday and make another appointment oh no 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 <laughs> hold on ava hold on let me get ava hey y'all sorry about that i'm back i'm in the family room right now with the kids sorry if it's a little loud or whatever but yeah like i was saying so he was like you're going to call back monday and make an appointment i was like uh, no i'm not i am not driving off this lot with my car saying check engine light i'm not doing that y'all have to put me back in that loaner car something figure it out he was like i can't do anything i'm the only one here da -da 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 -da, blah blah like sir i don't want to hear all that let me speak to your manager so then i didn't turn into my mother y'all if you know me if you know my mom then you already know how she is she is quick to call somebody manager quick to get a discount quick for everything she is something else if you know me in real life you know <laughs> I turned into my mom real quick, like, sir, let me let me speak to your manager. Bring the manager, somebody out here, because mm -mm, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. So the manager comes out. He's like, what's going on? I heard a little bit about the problem. I heard you came. You dropped your car off. Check engine light came on. They told you to drive off or whatever or drive for a couple of days. If it comes back on, give us a call. So what's going on? I'm like, the check engine light is still on. I'm not driving off for a few days for something else to pop back on. And then when I come back in here, y'all tell me that I did it or it's my fault or something. Like, no, y'all need to fix the problem while I'm here now. <laughs> He was like, oh, okay, well, let me go ahead and get you a, um, get you the loaner or whatever. I was like, can I have the same loaner I just had? Because I just filled that one to the top. He was like, oh, we don't have that one no more. As a matter of fact, we don't have any more loaners. I was like, huh? I was literally just here. So you're telling me you got rid of all the loaners? Yeah, no. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you, they were playing me in there. They were playing me so bad. I was getting so irritated. I guess the tone, my tone didn't change my everything then changed to where like they started acting right they started acting right <laughs> so another guy came out and was like oh no we do have some loaners back there let me go get you one i'm like okay okay that sounds about right let's get let's get to it y'all let's get to it so um they brought me out a loaner it wasn't the same one i had it was a different one which is the one i have now it was a black q8 2023 i think it is and um i didn't know at the time that that car was not going to fit three car seats not until today or no last night when i told my husband to go put the car seats in the car and he went to go do that and it couldn't fit all three of them so like that was like a big inconvenience so when i called them this morning nobody answered they sent me a text saying oh do i give consent for them to like do like a um test drive or something like that so in that message i replied back like saying how basically just going off in the message because it's just it's a lot going on so i'm waiting for somebody to hit me back about you know the whole situation to see how long it's going to take for them to fix my car and if they have any other loaner cars because this car is not equipped to fit all three car seats and that's a big inconvenience to where like if we do go out we got to take two cars and that's it's just doing too much so anywho i'm just sit here and um get my thoughts together if they don't call me back in the next hour i'm gonna call them i'm gonna keep calling them because now they're playing <laughs> now they're playing i don't like that i don't have time for that i don't i just want to come on here and like let y'all know what was going on and just vent to y'all a little bit what would you have done in that situation if you were to take your car somewhere your car is perfectly fine all you really needed was an oil change and that was it and you come back with all these different lights on what would you have done let me know in the comment section below <laughs> I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Bye, y'all.